So welcome back to the podcast uh, about the boy at the back of the class. Me and Dante are here again. Uh, make sure you've read chapters four to eight so you don't get any spoilers. Uh, we've got three questions each that we're going to talk about. Um, Dante's going to start me off. Do you agree that if you really want something, you should keep trying? Yeah, so I, I think this is really important. You need to put a lot of time and effort in to become skillful at anything that you do. So you need to put that time and effort in to that. I don't know if you agree about that, Dante. I think at the moment yeah. you're trying to, you're trying with your football keep you up, Sanya. When you started, you couldn't do many where you're doing a lot more than you could. And that's because you keep trying at it. So that's definitely my positive out of that. Number three, what do you think has happened to Ahmet? Yeah, so at the moment we found out that uh, Ahmet is a refugee from Syria. So just knowing my knowledge of the world, I know Syria has been a bit war torn over the like last few years had to come over to England because it's not been a safe place for him. Yeah. What is a floor manager of a supermarket? In the book, they go to the supermarket and they um, they talk to a very grumpy floor manager um, and the narrator doesn't know what a floor manager is. She thinks they just make sure the floor's clean, make sure they pick people up if they fall over. Um, but she said, oh, he didn't seem like the kind of man who would do that. But floor manager is somebody who's in charge of the of the shop floor. So making sure that everything's running properly. Um, so with staff and making sure that everything is on the on the shelves where it should be. Uh, so he's like in charge of the shop that day. So I've got three questions for Dante now. What is a refugee? A refugee is a person that's had to leave their home because um, like people like the Nazis and people have dropped bombs, killing people and made them so scared that they have to leave their country and or continent and go somewhere else that's safe. Yeah, so it can, uh, most of the time it is war, but it could be that na natural disasters happen there like an earthquake or volcano or there's been like a famine and there's no food uh, so there's a lot of reasons but it's mainly it's for people who are not safe in their own homes but yeah I definitely agree with you Dante. What does Mrs Khan mean when she says some people just can't see past the end of their own nose? She means that they can't see what's actually happening so they might be telling the wrong person off and if you can't see past your nose, you might do something like you might bump into something. So yeah, that's kind of, yeah, you've you've kind of got there. Um, so in the story, she uses this because uh, one of the teachers tells um, the group of friends off uh, because Ahmet's not replying because he can't speak any English, but this teacher doesn't know, and he's so wrapped up in his own business about being a strict teacher he's just like oh these kids are messing about so I'm gonna like they're gonna get a detention for it so then their normal teacher Mrs Khan has said oh I can't see past the end of his nose because he's just wrapped up in his own I need to be a strict teacher. Last question for you Dante uh, why does Mr Brown frown and move away from Mrs Grimsby? He moves away because Miss, Mrs. Um, Grimsby says, I can't, I wouldn't trust one as far as I could throw them. So, and Mr. Um, Brown disagrees. He says that um, I feel sorry for him. And if he's from that war in the news, then it, he must be, it must be really hard for him to be in a new country. Yeah, so they're talking about um, Ahmet, aren't they? And Mrs. Grimsby has got one view. Miss Brown has like completely the opposite view, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. who, do you, who do you agree with? Do you think you agree with Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown. Think, yeah. Why do you think that? Because I would do my best to help him not to be.
be mean to him like Brendan the bully was doing, being horrible, um, just doing mean things. Yeah, because I, if I try and put myself in Ahmet's shoes, I would want people to like really want to help me and be there because obviously it'd be a horrible time leaving your home, your country, being in a like a foreign country where you don't speak the language. It'd be really hard, wouldn't it? Um, and if you had somebody like Mrs. Grimsby being like, oh, well, I don't trust him because he's from a different country and he doesn't speak the language, like that would be horrible for me to hear if I was trying to just get to a place which was safe. So, yeah, that's why I agree with Mr. Brown. Like me when I was in year two, people were horrible about me that I'm a different colour skin than them. Yeah, which is completely not right to do. Um, it's just having a prejudice on somebody just because of the way they look or the way they are, um, which is not which is not right. Like I said before, I think this book is like impactful for people from Dante's age, which is eight, and I'm 28, so definitely want to carry on reading. And I will be reading the next few chapters uh, tomorrow, and then we'll be back with another podcast. So uh, we're going to leave it there. So do you want to say bye, Dante? Bye, everybody. Bye.